Yo, yo. What's up? This is Planet Keith. I'm Keith. And today, well, I wonder if you can guess what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, here's a clue. Um, I've got a new toy. I've got a HP DeskJet 2720 inkjet printer and scanner. And I'm going to, well, open the box, set it up and tell you about it. My previous printer was uh, a Canon inkjet and it just gave up the ghost. Uh, it, it just refused to recognise the USB connection anymore. And my fan, Mr. Kraska, who's a, a completely not a techie, uh, reckons that it's probably the um, waste ink thing is full reservoir. Um, and uh, you need to sort of empty it or and reset the machine. But I couldn't figure it out, and by that time I'd already ordered this, so yeah. Anyway, it was uh, £49.99. It's it's an old trope about printers, they practically give them away, um, but on the basis that you are then locked in to buy their ink for the rest of your life. And that ink is, I don't know, I think I saw some figures once, it costs more than gold per kilo, <laughs> something like that. But an interesting thing about these uh, new HP printers, they're compatible with a thing called Instant Ink, which is it basically it means the printer can detect when you're running out of ink and it will reorder um, replacement ink, which is then delivered to your door and they'll take care of empty cartridges ecologically. And they say it can save you 70% on the cost of the ink which may or may not be true, or may or may not be interesting, I don't know. Uh, what I plan to do is print a load of photos and really, really hammer the ink and see how it goes. Okay, I think what I need to do now is open the box. Well, I've already had a sneak peek, as you do. Okay, let's do this. So you open the box, you get a load of, well, you know, things. Uh, a warning not to consume the ink. Uh, thing about the instant ink. I don't know if I'm comfortable with this. It's like, you know, a 32 page booklet. Uh, that's the English page. That's the Irish page. One page for each supported language and another tree bites the dust. There you go. Okay, get started. Three things. You have to do three things. So, piece of cardboard, don't want that. Ink cartridges, yay! Power cable. Printer. More paper. Safety warnings, reference and support. Declaration of conformity. Um, the usual stuff that we never read. Okay. Nice ecological thingies. <laughs> Recyclable. That's good. Shrink wrap plastic. Right, a bit more packaging here to get rid of. So, oh, look at that. Yeah. That's why the paper comes out. Right. Okay, that will be where the ink cartridges go. Okay. And that's a piece of cardboard that you must remove. I did see a comment on the uh, Amazon page for this printer where somebody said um, it came with a European plug, you know, a two pin plug and an adapter. Uh, clearly that's been changed or they were just wrong. So that's a, a UK three pin plug. All right, nice and neat round the back. Uh, plug in your what's name. Okay, that's paper, paper in tray. And um, what was the other thing? 
USB in. Hopefully, I won't need to use that if um, you know, because I want it. I want it to work just with Wi-Fi, so I can print with any other devices, including telephones. Yes. So we switch it on. Lights flash. Power light is flashing. I don't know. Come on. Do something. Ah, rumbling, rumbling. Okay, the cartridge holders have presented them and they're saying, feed me, feed me, give me ink. I expect. So, that was stage one. Uh, stage two, go to 123.hp.com or scan the um, QR code because uh, we have to get an app. Okay, we've gone to the web page and uh, says complete the setup using HP Smart. Make sure the printer is powered on. Install HP Smart to complete setup and there's a button. Just takes you to the Google Play Store if you're on a Mac. I expect it will take you to the Apple Store. Alright, searching. You've got uh, the Wi Fi light on the printer is flashing. So make sure the printer is supported, turned on, and connected to the network properly. Now we haven't done anything like that, it hasn't told us to. Connect printer to Wi Fi. Okay. Alright, it wants the, um, the Wi Fi password. So it's found the printer, it says flash. No, it doesn't. It says press the flashing information button on your printer. There it is. Okay, I pressed it. Accessing the network, getting an IP address. Okay, it's connected. So let's uh, continue. Checking the printer status. It's going to say, give me some ink in it. In order to deliver printing and cloud services, technical data is connected from printers that you choose to pair with your app or HP account. If you have one, learn more, continue. Got to create an account with HP. Ugh. All right. Um, this is. Yeah, I know you got to do it, but this is why people think things are difficult because, you know, could I maybe do that later or just not do it? Okay, I created an account with HP on my real computer upstairs because I hate doing stuff like that on the phone if they haven't specifically thought about how you do it on a phone, especially when it comes to your password, that has to have one uppercase, one lowercase, one numeral, one special character. So you, you, you're banging around between about six different screens. And then they ask you to put the, input the password a second time. And, you know, as, as a, a web developer, designer, I hate this. I, there, it has no value. It has no technical merit. It's, you know, there's, they've done research into this. It doesn't make your account or your password any more secure. So why do we do it? It's just a hangover from the last century. Rant. Right, and also while I'm in rant mode, this setup, there's two things there that are presented as though they might be optional, but they're not. So don't do that. Uh, you know, the location services, I mean, basically, if you want to use Instant Ink, you've got to have an account, you've got to let it use location services. So just get that up front, get that done first, and then, you know, before you start actually messing about with the printer, and, you know, <laughs> I, want, I, want to print, I want to print things, I want to play with it, I don't want to spend half an hour already setting things up. There you go. All right. End of rant. Next bit. Uh, see if I can find the app on here. Which is HP is HP something. HP Smart. Oh, printer door open. Well, it is. Cartridge is missing. Hang on. Right. I, I, uh, do I need, I need to sign up. Sign in. Stupid password. By George, he's done it. Cartridge is missing. Yes, I know. Tell me how to do them. So you lost the plot now. Uh, 
because I'm not in the setup routine anymore. Um, but I don't know how to put the cartridges in. I mean, I, I think I do because I've used injects before, but uh, uh, this is a bit annoying. Okay, here's my cartridges. The black one, that's the tricolour one. And um, so I need to just peel that plastic thing off. And then if we open the door, the cartridge holders. Okay, just press until they go clunk. Okay, they are clunked, shut the door. And it should do things. <laughs> Do things. Well, this isn't great, is it? I was going to say, give me some paper. I expect. I'll give it some paper anyway. Preemptive giving of paper. Yeah, I can understand why people think this is difficult. I'm not scared of technology, guru. Um, but it shouldn't be this. Difficult, confusing. I mean, you know, if I should, uh, I'll turn it off and turn it on again. <laughs> well, it was making some clunky noises, and now it isn't. Uh, I'll have a look on the, on the app, see if it's telling me anything. Cartridges missing. Well, they're not now, so update that. All right, alignment recommended. This is what we need to do. So do it, or tell me how to do it. Yeah, there's all all these options, none of which are align the cartridges. Right, load plain A4 white paper, done that. So it's giving me this warning that your connection's not secure because they haven't bothered to put HTTPS on it. Yeah, anybody who's not familiar with printers, will, they'll, they'll have sent it back by now. Piece of paper with printed stuff on it. Okay, it's printed out this uh, this sheet of <laughs> meaningful hieroglyphics, and what you need to do now is scan it, and then I guess the software will be able to read the the misaligned bits and make the required adjustments. Right, I'm going to try something now. I'm going to I'm going to run upstairs and find a photo and send it to this. I'll put some photo paper in. So I'm nearly through my teddy out the pram there. I am trying to set this printer up on the computer upstairs. It's, and it says, uh, you know, I'm through the Windows 10 ad printer process. So it can't find a printer. Uh, and then it says, temporarily connect it with a USB cable. And I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, come on. Anyway, so I came down, I was going to take it up, but then I noticed it had actually gone into standby mode. Now, I don't think it's very clever that um, it can't be woken up by something that wants to talk to it, but apparently it can't. So I pressed the button, all the things are on. So I'm going to run upstairs now and see if that's made a difference. Right, now I am losing it. I had a little glimmer of hope where I saw on a screen on the setup upstairs you could enter the IP address. So I got the IP address off the phone, off the app on the phone, and I typed it in and it's, it made no difference. It's like, you know, put your, temporarily connect a USB cable. Now, the thing with this is, if you bought this and you've never had a printer before and you don't have the right kind of USB cable and it's not, you know, it's it's got a square end it's not a flat one <sighs> you would have to buy that cable purely to set the thing up to work on Wi-Fi and I just think that is that is so wrong because it's not supplied and these things are not cheap uh, oh oh dear oh dear anyway right so I'll have to lug all this upstairs I'll see you in a bit bye I've just spent literally 45 minutes upstairs trying to connect this to my computer using Wi-Fi or USB cable. It won't recognise either of them. Um, so I brought it down 
and uh, it had some uh, photo paper loaded in it because I was going to print a photo. Uh, but so it's just sitting there. Um, I thought I'd press this I button, information button, on the printer, and immediately it printed this on a very expensive glossy paper. Anyway, so I can see it's very good quality print. <laughs> Um, but this tells me some techie information. I've oh, this is interesting. There's there's a thing called Wi-Fi Direct, where you can connect two Wi-Fi enabled devices like your phone and the printer without having to go through the network router. Um, I, I don't know what to do actually. Uh, I think I'll go shopping. I might clear my little head. Ta-ta. I had a lovely time at the shops. Thank you. And now I'm back to this, and I'm, I'm really losing the will to live. Uh, uh, if you hold down two buttons on, on there, it spits out a piece of paper with instructions on how to use Wi-Fi Direct. So basically, this gets around the, the problem. The, the problem they gave themselves by not programming it properly. Incompetence doesn't cover it. It's I, I, I just don't understand how a company as big and powerful and wealthy and all of those things as Hewlett Packard can screw up on such a magnificent scale. It's just, it's unbelievable. Anyway, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, rant. <laughs> Wi-Fi Direct, okay, will Theoretically, it gives you a direct connection between uh, the Wi-Fi on there and the Wi-Fi on the printer. Um, so what you do is you spit this out and it tells you to go to this um, URL, hp.com slash go slash Wi-Fi direct printing. And eventually this is what you get. You get this page that is supposed to give you instructions on your mobile phone on how to connect your mobile phone to the printer and print with it. But look what happens, it's not responsive. This web page is not designed to adapt itself to fit on the screen of a mobile phone. <sighs> now, it's, it's, I've got a million computers, I've got iPods, iPads, I've got everything. But most people don't, you know. 60% of people using the internet do so on one of these. Um, they don't have a computer. They don't even know what a computer is. What the hell are you playing at? Honestly. So I now have to go back to my computer to read this page and find out what I'm supposed to do. But I suspect that I'm supposed to install a plugin on the phone, the mobile phone, from the website that doesn't work on mobile phones. And there's going to be no other way to do it. And I, uh, Really? Okay, so this is what that page looks like. Observe how much of it you missed on your mobile phone. This is baby stuff. 12 year olds can code better than that. I'm really? Uh, we have a phrase in England, it's like, I'm gobsmacked. I'm, I am gobsmacked and I'm speechless. Not really, literally, but you know, I'm metaphorically speechless. Uh, I'm literally very fed up. Anyway, okay. So it seems through reading that page, you need to download another app from the Play Store or the Apple Store called the HP ePrint app. So I'll try and get that. Uh, why that isn't incorporated in the uh, the other one, I don't know. All right, so I'm in the Play Store. I've got HP ePrint Enterprise brackets service. And I've got HP Smart, which is the one I've already got. Then we've got HP Print Service Plugin, which I suppose is what I want. Why is it not called ePrint? I don't know. Okay, it looks like it is actually printing a photograph. I've set it on best quality, so it might take some time. Come back in a minute. Okay, there we go. A rather vivid rainbow. Great quality print, but by it, it was hard to get. Uh, so I still, I don't know if I'm keeping this device. I'm going to try it on the computer now with this new technique. And uh, well, I'll let you know tomorrow. I, can't, I just can't.
do any more on this t today. Uh, and whether it goes back or not depends on what I, what I can get as an alternative. Um, yeah. All right, later. Okay, a few days have gone by and I'm completely, utterly exhausted by this. I enrolled the printer in HP's Instant Ink scheme and uh, even that wasn't easy. I'm supposed to get two months of free Instant Ink so, and I've only signed up for 99p a month but it's still £1.98 and I can't find out how to claim that money or you know maybe I'll just send the ink and not and not charge but it's, it's far from clear that that is the case and you know my, my feeling about HP now is they're uh, a bunch of robbing <laughs> well uh, maybe that's not fair illiterate um, unable to communicate properly and also unable to write software properly very good printer physically <laughs> hardware is great it's the software it's the nut behind the wheel that makes it go I signed up for instant ink and the next day I couldn't print anything um, printer seemed to be connected it had its Wi-Fi rays showing um, but yeah wouldn't print said the computer said it was offline uh, yeah um, so I went on the app I went on went and looked at my account online and uh, it said the printer was locked so I thought well I don't know I don't know I haven't locked it I don't know what that is uh, all I can guess is it means because I've ordered or I've enrolled for Instant Ink, maybe I can't use the printer again until I install the Instant Ink cartridges. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but that will mean, you know, they're planning to steal the, the little dribble of ink that is supplied in the starter cartridges. And yeah, well, yeah, maybe they could. <sighs> do I care? <sighs> uh, yeah, I do. Um, so that was Thursday or Friday last week when I did that enrolment. Um, Tuesday this week I got an email from HP saying right we've dispatched it and they gave me a tracking link it's coming by Royal Mail uh, so they got gave me a tracking link I went on that and <laughs> on, on the Royal Mail website it says yeah they've told us the package is coming we haven't got it yet we'll let you know. Uh, and it was still saying that um, today, it's Thursday, two days later. So it's almost a week. So one slightly interesting bit of information that was in the email was uh, to not install the instant ink cartridges when I've got them until the existing cartridges are saying very low ink level. I take that to mean they haven't switched off my ability to use my existing ink. However, something's happened and I'm, I'm probably going to have to faff about with it some more. Anyway, let's cut to the chase. I've looked at alternatives online in that price range. It's a real bad time to try and buy a printer. I think um, maybe Covid, maybe Brexit, maybe, you know, people working from home wanting printers. There's, there are no, there are very few printers available on Amazon in that price range now. So yeah, um, so I'll, ju I'll just plod on with it, but if, if it gets too much, I've, I've got a window of, I've got a return window with Amazon for, you know, quite a few months. And, uh, yeah, if, if this situation doesn't improve, it's going back. So would I recommend you invest your hard-earned pennies in a Hewlett Packard desk jet? Absolutely not. No way, Jose. Never, ever. Just don't do this to yourself. You don't need it. So, um... Yeah, it's 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 a shame. Well, it's a tragedy, but um, I don't like being the bringer of bad news. You know, I like to be positive and happy and, and that. But um, at the same time, something that makes me as miserable as I have been the last week, uh, you really want to avoid. So, HP, no zero out of five. Can I give it negative? Yes, minus five out of five. There you go. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't buy HP printer.